in 1954 a six foot four baby with a full beautiful mustache came into this world destined for great things and just a few years ago a man known as dr disrespect a nine foot six eight ten foot giant some would even call him the beauty and the beast all together as one person because of how beautiful bro is came into this world and changed the whole streaming game he goes by the name of dr disrespect a very loved streamer all around the world because of how disrespectful he is god forbid if you come across him in a video game especially in call of duty you are going to be ending up with tears in your eyes you are going to be underwater showering for eight hours thinking of the comebacks you could have told them and this beloved streamer just randomly one day got banned in 2020 without anyone knowing the reasons why it is one of the biggest mysteries in the world still to this day there is no no one knows what the hell happened a person known as slasher in 2020 came and tweeted this after he got banned look for several hours now i have been told from credible sources the reason dr disrespect has been banned however due to importance and sensitivity around the subject i have refrained from going on it i don't feel comfortable with it currently many eyebrows were rising i don't know if that's proper english or not but anyways a lot of people were wondering and a lot of people were just cursing at slasher for not being comfortable with sharing the information it's like a giving a trailer of a movie to someone without actually dropping the whole movie it's fucking annoying some people thought the wife that he cheated on maybe had contacts with twitch and he was like ban this disgusting human being and other people thought maybe he was you know his doctor disrespected he disrespected the twitch themselves and they're very sensitive and they ended up just banning him for no reason at all because to this day there is no reason for it some people thought maybe twitch banned doctor disrespect for the amount of strokes and heart attacks he gave people the second he started to just stand up from his setup and the people saw the giant that he is but just 24 hours ago a former twitch employee posted this he got banned because he got caught sexting a minor in then existing Twitch Whispers product. He was trying to meet up with her at TwitchCon, the powers that could be read in plain text. Now, a lot of people are believing this. I haven't seen any evidence that he's actually a Twitch former employee. There's no evidence that I found. I don't know. Maybe he is, but I would like to see some proof. Maybe he's just a little timmy and just started to post something, never expecting it to go viral, and it just did. Anyways, this former Twitch employee said that Dr. Disrespect was telling this cupcake that on how he's going to tickle them like they've never tickled been tickled before and they're going to meet up in TwitchCon to actually perform the tickling. And he says he has the whole conversation that happened in Twitch Whispers. Now, I don't know who the fuck used Twitch Whispers even back in the day. It was just somewhere hidden where you thought it's a notification. But if you used it and you've done some fucked up shit on it, it's on you. It's 100% your fault. Even on Instagram, Facebook, any of these kind of places, you for sure in once in a lifetime, everyone does some haram things there. They send some texts. They send some pictures without you know thinking oh it's all protected most probably half of instagram half of meta probably saw your ding dong now back to the doctor the suspecting this is a very huge accusations and allegations against him now this person says that they have the chats they know exactly what happened maybe they read it they don't have it anymore once they were back in twitch when you come and accuse someone of this something this big they can act, like ruin their whole life you need to come with the receipts. Maybe he's scared that Twitch is going to sue the shit out of them. But just don't post this in the first place if you don't have any proof. So this whole tweet started to go viral. Everyone started to share their opinions on this. And this is the first response that Dr. Disrespect made. He said that Jake, seriously, this is the person who posted this. I get it. It's a hot topic, but this has been settled. No wrongdoing was acknowledged and they paid out the whole contract. Now, a lot of people were not okay with this because this doesn't really debunks the allegations that was going on he just said no wrongdoing was done in the settlement like i got paid the whole contract brother no one said anything about the contract we are talking about you tickling kids and after a lot of backlash dr disrespect around eight hours ago decided to make a post statement on twitter saying Listen, I'm obviously tied to legal obligations from the settlement with Twitch. I just need to say what I can say since this is the fucking internet. I didn't do anything wrong. All this has been probed and settled. 
Nothing illegal, no wrongdoing was found, and I was paid. Now, still, he hasn't said it to our face that, yo, I didn't tickle no kids or never said I'm going to tickle any. Now, I don't know what kind of contract he has with he has with twitch he just keeps on saying oh i got paid in full i didn't do anything illegal for them to terminate terminate my contract tickling cupcakes is illegal so it kind of falls under the illegal part so it's an indirect direct indirectly answer that he's telling us that nothing illegal happened for his contract to be terminated it was settled everyone was happy let's just move on with our lives but people are still not happy with this because people want him to tell us in our faces that he didn't actually do it he's probably under nda that he cannot share any information about the ban maybe some shady shit went down with twitch and he had to sign the nda had to settle the contract and the only way he would get fully paid from the contract that he had with twitch is to sign an nda to never talk about it this is very shady my best guess in this situation is two things my first guess is he actually talked to a cupcake but it was one of those cupcakes who was like 15 and just looking like 25 and never in your entire life you would question her age and you just go with it and you just end up finding out holy shit fuck and since this whole thing happened under twitch's watch and whispers twitch doesn't want this to come out so that's why they signed an nda to save both of their asses and just bury the truth without anyone ever finding out second guess is just charlie's video baba charlie the most critical he just made a video an hour ago that i watched he also said that it was most probably because back then the old kick mixer who decided to come to Twitch and steal Twitch uh, creators just paying them a huge chunk of money and Dr. Disrespect went behind Twitch's back even though they had a contract and decided to negotiate some prices and just Twitch was not happy and just banned them straight away. Now looking at Dr. Disrespect, a beautiful giant, okay, with who has a lot of money. I don't see him doing these things. This is just my personal opinion about this. He, 100% he has girls throwing themselves left and right at him. And he's like, ladies, one one by one, please. So it doesn't really make sense for him to go after a cupcake. Because going after cupcakes is a kink. These people who go after them is a kink. Now, I know I joked about a lot about, you know, YouTubers or content creators. Once they reach, reach a huge amount of following, they automatically, like, start liking Cupcakes because the history is just a lot. But Dr. Disrespect is no Zerko or Hill Mike. Bro is actually good looking. He has a lot of money and he can back anyone that he wants. And just because he hasn't said anything directly to our face that, hey, I tickle no cupcakes. All of you are liars. All of you are just hate me because you ain't me. It doesn't really prove that he did it because even though they claim that text messages are there and we all know how easy it is for just confidential documents getting leaked on the internet with one person just deciding to go, deciding to just choose violence that day. But still, there has been no evidence of this happening. Now, I might be wrong. There's not 1% chance because you don't actually know anyone. But he is not guilty until proven so. It's a very strong accusation, very strong allegation that can ruin his life. And I actually thought he would actually say it more clearly about what happened. But at the same time, I understand why, because he probably is under NDA. And the same person, Slasher, after this person just came up and texted this whole thing, accusing of Dr. Disrespect of tickling uh, kids. He also said, I didn't lie right after the former twitch employee posted this this still doesn't prove anything but half of the internet are like oh my god this was true the whole time i can't believe my favorite streamer was actually into these things always look for evidence never believe whatever you see on the internet because someone said so i can literally go on the internet right now and name you by your name yes you watching right now and say you killed someone with your fart will that be true May, probably not, but, but imagine someone actually killed someone with a fart watching this video. <laughs> now, one of Dr. The Suspect's close friends shared his opinion on Twitter as well. Nick Merckx, this is what he had to say. These are some crazy accusations. Crazy. Big time accusations. And until we know more, until we know them as fact, until they've been proven with evidence, what are we talking about? What's anybody talking about? Like I said, innocent until proven guilty. Literally anyone on the internet can make up anything without any proof. And unfortunately, a lot of people are going to believe it. And that can lead to a lot of people having bad reputations. This definitely is going to take a hit on Dr. Disrespect's 
whole career and reputation because some guy decided to just spread some rumors. Like now, like I said, there's still that one percent chance that these things can actually happen, but it is very, very unlikely in Doctor Disrespect's case. Now, if Doctor Disrespect was a five foot middle-aged man with bold spots with that creepy look with that edp belly maybe chance will be 50 50 but he's not he's a two-time world champion lamborghini guy with fake hair great beautiful mustache and glasses i still don't know how he uses glasses to fucking play video games but he definitely backs even a lot of like corn stars like andrea uh, adria Chichik said she actually watches Dr. Suspect all the time and she has a crush on him. A corn star. I doubt in the coming days or weeks there's going to be evidence popping up. Maybe it will, but there's a very high chance in my opinion it won't. Probably in a few years the truth is going to come out, but by then no one really gives a shit. And he's getting attacked by a couple of people like Keemstar who would like to juice the shit out of anything and spice things up. Just share random lies. This Dr. Disrespect story is absolutely infuriating. Kim Star is a type of person who is going to create stories out of his ass and add to this whole thing and just post it without having any regards of what is going to happen to that person's life. Guilty or not, it is a story. Views. Let me get views and money and share stories on my Snapchat so I can buy more cyber trucks. Woo! Obviously, if anything comes up, I'll share it with you. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Take care of yourself. I'll see you at the next one.